Hello, welcome back. Right, little short one this time. I'm going to be retrimming some Triumph stag seats for a customer. Um, I'll go through what I do, where I get the bits from, any tips and tricks that I might be able to help you out with. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get to with it. If you like this kind of thing, please subscribe. Then I'll help the channel, you know. Uh, and if you like it, have a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you give me a thumbs down. Want to let me know why? Feel free. Uh, if you want to contact me, Church House Classics, it's all one word, at gmail.com. I've also got a website, uh, which you'll see in the link um, on the, if you, you need to use your computer to go to the link, but uh, it's also Church House Classics, all one word, uh, .co.uk is my website, and there's a contact me page on there as well. Uh, yeah, if you want to buy me a pint or support the channel in any way, if I've helped you, uh, if I've amused you, if I've made you not buy Freelander 2 um, when you were right on the verge of getting one, etc, etc, etc. Feel free um, to donate funds to the PayPal, PayPal? PayPal me link in the description below this video. You need to be on your computer to do that. Uh, all donations gratefully received. And thank you very much to everyone that's donated. I do thank every one of you personally. Right, let's get on with this bloody job because it's 33 degrees and I want to get this done. Bit of a cock up in the uh, the audio department here, so um, you're going to get me talking over big chunks of this video, thanks to my neighbour's dog barking, uh, traffic, tree surgeons, and so forth. So, but anyway, what I'm doing here is showing you how the centre foams behind the basket weave rarely suffer this problem because they're a completely different type of foam, and the bits down either side um, they just disintegrate. Getting the seat back off is a piece of cake. There's two screws you can see. There's also two little screws that are just underneath the frilly bit at the top of the seat pocket. Don't forget those. You won't be able to remove it without that. Now the seat back's off. You can see all of the small metal clips that are holding the trim cover on. You can also see the remains of the old side foams. They're disgusting. This job gets really sticky and horrible. Um, as you can see, this stuff is just falling out. Um, Fairly typical, I'm afraid, um, that the foams in the centre of the seat behind the basket weavers have said different fabric uh, or different constitution, and they just don't seem to rot in the same way. So we're going to need to pull these clips out. All I use is a flat blade screwdriver. Be very, very careful that there's a barb on each clip. You don't want to tear the fabric. So I lever up one edge of it, and then literally just tip it off the fabric. <laughs> You will need to pull the headrest off for now. And this can be a bit of a struggle because more often than not, I think people don't realise that they actually extend that far. Um, so they do, do lift out to a certain extent. But then if they're original, they'll have a little um, tag that needs to be pushed in, as I'm doing here. Um, that's, well, in theory, stops the headrest from flying out. Um, but if you push that little tag in with a screwdriver and continue to tug it really hard, uh, the headrest will come out. There it is. Um, I can't believe I'm going to show the tag, but it's fairly obvious when you're looking at the base of it. I have had to knock them out with a mallet before now. Right, so these bits, all these white bits here are the internal webbing that give the seat its shape, its form. And they're all um, attached using the same black metal clips as the outer cover is. Again, be really careful when you're taking these clips off. You don't want to tear the fabric. Also, these um, uh, strips are attached to the very lightweight cotton material that goes over the back or the inside edge of the, the actual seat, for, seat frame itself. Here I'm just taking photographs just to make sure I get the orientation of these strips back in the right way around when I put the seat back together again. If you tear these strips off, um, it does make putting the seat cover back together again a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, there's a small captive screw, grub screw, that holds the cable onto the catch mechanism onto the lower rail there, a uh, quarter inch, just pull the cable out, um, and that comes out through the bottom edge of the uh, of the seat cover itself. You see the seat cover gets pulled up 
that I'm working on now gets pulled up and inside the seat. So the basket weave is tensioned from the top to the bottom and up. You can see now <clears throat> we're starting to get to the point where the cover is fairly loose. We're peeling all the edges back, making sure there's no more clips, making sure that there's no excessive amounts of glue. It's free. One of the risky areas either side of the seat where the side of the seat cover stretches over the bottom of the side. That's even an expression, but you can see the bit I'm pulling out now. It flaps over, the piping goes round the edge of it. Um, it is glued onto the inside, but I've been able to just peel it back with a flat blade screwdriver. Uh, the danger is if you start tugging on the piping, um, it will tear away from the seat fabric itself. So be really careful in this area. And you can see I'm starting to kind of, you know, shed big lumps of foam all over the place. Here's the other side now, just peeling it back from the bottom edge of the frame. There is a clip that holds the frame. Make sure you get all the clips out and the pitch part like this. Just be you know, careful with it. There we are. We've got that all apart now. That's 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 the, the risky bit. That's the bit where you risk tearing the outer um, the outer cover if you get my drift. I did this on my, one of mine. This is a customer's one. I was a lot more careful. Um, now, as you start to pull this out, you can see the white um, tanks that go through the frame. You need to be quite gentle with those as well. You don't want to lose those. You don't want to get them torn off. Um, so I'm really kind of just just pulling away as I as I go through the inside. You can see all the, the foam. It's just like it's like shit. It really is. It's horrible and it's sticky. It's revolting. This is the reason why the side bolsters are so loose. And obviously, it's falling all over the place. So I'm actually just trying to peel it down drop it into the cover itself so that I can dispose of it um, in one big lump rather than putting it all over the uh, the picnic table. I can see my wife, if she ever sees this video, she'll go berserk. Why didn't you put some paper down? Oh, there you go. Put a nice big sheet of cardboard down and it did not make clearing up a lot easier. But here you can see how messy and sticky this gets. All of this shit, all these old phones, um, they are mega sticky. Your fingers are sticky, the sweat's dripping in your eyes because it's 33 degrees. Um, and everything has just got little bits of glue on it. Yeah. Right, what are we going to do? We're going to go and find a bucket, I think. What am I, oh, there's a clip that disappeared. There's a clip. Oh, no, it was the clip that holds the back cover on. I found it in the middle of the seat. No, never give up on these things. Never give up on these things. Now, you can see the foam on the, the basket weave. Those are the two bits of foam in the middle of the seat, the yellow piece and the pink piece. I need to keep those. So the yellow piece is actually glued onto the cover. So rather than tearing it off the cover where I couldn't really see what I was doing, I opted to tear it off the, um, the, the webbing strips. The bottom piece I've just left in place. It's, it's a reference point. There you can see the frame, seat frame, still all covered in shite, but at least it's now free of the cover. And there's the cover. Still full of shite. Right, let's start clearing this lot up now. A little while later and very sticky. Right, okay, this is the cover. So really all I did was tip the contents that were inside the cover into the pink bin you can see behind you there. I dusted the, the, the seat frame off as well. So that's all been tipped into the waste bin. The rest of the frame I cleaned up with a small wire brush and a paint scraper. Got it to this stage, no real issues with that. The rest of the inside of the cover I cleaned up with a with a kind of wallpaper paste brush. Very good, nice stiff bristles. Cleaned all the crap out of the inside of the cover. And the cover looks really good. And here is the remains of the seat foams. That's what it looked like. I just can't express how sticky this stuff is. I mean, I couldn't wear gloves because it was just too, too warm, but sticky. This is the Mark II kit that I bought from South East Trimmings. Uh, came in at about £120 delivered. Um, Jim Van Gent is the chap. South East Trimmings advertises in the Stag Owners Club magazine. I'll stick his details in the video. Sorry, in the description below. Now, what I need to do really, first and foremost, is to actually work out what is what. So I need to make up two complete sets here. So what I'm doing here really is just matching up a mirrored pair. So those are the side bits or go down the edge of the door. So that's really going to be the other pair. Um, and now I'm looking at the bolsters that go on the front face of the seat, either side of the webbing. Now, those two are exactly the same. 
you look at them carefully, you'll see that. So based on the fact that they're exactly the same, then the other two must be the pair, which is what I've done there. So I've got them in into the right area. Now I'm just using a normal spray adhesive on this. It, it, is, a, it is for car um, parts, but it's not the high temperature stuff I might have used if I was putting the headlining in a Range Rover. And you can see fairly obviously here how each of the foams needs to fit into the frame. Just use the glue just to hold it all in place, really. That's all it's there for. Once the cover's on, you don't need the glue, in effect. The glue is literally there just to make life a little bit easier. Glue the sides on. Now, these um, trim kits do come well sculpted, uh, but you will need to trim certain amounts off, and I just use a serrated kitchen knife to do that. So here I'm fitting, refitting the top foam to the basket weave and also the section that goes just ahead of the headrest. Okay, so now comes the important bit, the bit you've been waiting for. Pull in the cover back over the new foams. You don't want to be tugging it, you don't want to be yanking it, you don't want to be brutal with it. Softly, slowly, gently pulling this cover back down over the frame. Taking your time here is the most important thing you can possibly do. Um, honestly, if you if you tug this thing in the wrong place, or you pull too hard, or you yeah, it, it's just going to tear the, uh, the the outer um, uh, seat cover, and then you'll be cursing. You'll be cursing like a I don't know Grimsby fish hag or Grimsby fisherman. There you go. It's equal opportunities there. So really, all I'm doing here, some folk absolutely swear by wrapping cling film around the um, foams and then pulling the cover over that. Um, I've pretty much always done them like this. I found that these foams from Southeast Trimmings are good enough that I can actually just pull the cover down over the top of the foam. And this is being filmed real time. And so I think I actually get this cover on in about three minutes. Um, here I'm fiddling around now. Um, and in hindsight, it would be an awful lot easier. You don't want to pull these too hard, by the way, because they will come off in your hand, so to speak. But in hindsight, it's actually a lot easier just to remove a couple of those, those webbed strips. They can go back in again after you've finished the frame. Uh, once I got those through, uh, next thing I do is, bearing in mind the top of the cover is on, is I tension the bottom of the basket section, basket weave section of the seat cover. So it actually has four or five clips that go along the bottom rail, um, just above from the bottom of the seat. And that then tightens the whole thing up. And here you can see the thing is actually starting to take shape pretty bloody quickly as well. OK, none of the internal tensioning is done up yet. All I've really done is to pull the cover over, pull it into place, pull all of the webbing through, that I'm going to be attaching uh, the clips on to tension the basket weave sections and the, the side sections. And again, not pulling too hard here, just you know, trying to get the whole thing through. And fixed the, the, you know, the section onto the bottom. And really just feeling how baggy the frame is, or the, the cover is. So what we're doing now, this piece of uh, webbing I'm tugging on now is the bit that goes across the line in the middle of the basket weave. This is the one that's probably the most important to get in the right shape to your seat. You want to avoid unsightly creases up the bolsters. You want to avoid, you know, the seat being, you know, as baggy as a dick in a bucket. Then this is the one that you nearly need, need you know, re really, need, really need to pay attention to. And then once it's all done, and I still need to punch the foams a little bit, but once it's all done, it looks like that. Now, <clears throat> this one. This is the other seat. I had some problems with this one. This was the driver's seat. Now, when I was taking the cover off, the centre section, the, the piece of webbing that attaches to the foam in the centre section, had already removed itself. Um, here I'm pointing at the cotton, very, very, very fine cotton covering that goes over the foam on the inside of the cover. Um, and at this age, I mean, they're 40-something they're years old now, and it's just... You look at it and the, the cotton dissolves. So what I've done is I've taken the original webbing and I've glued it onto the back of the, or the inside edge of the seat cover and put some tie wraps around it. And this is just kind of thinking a little bit out of the box because otherwise it would have ended up with me kind of getting the sewing machine out, which I don't do, and sewing a new section of cotton across the whole middle, which then could be used to tension the top of the seat up. So here, just pushing down on the glue um, not gone berserk with these tie wraps. You can see that now. Um, it's it, it, it's a fairly you know, 
lightweight operation. The idea is to guide the seat into the right shape rather than tearing it into the right shape. Okay, so now we've done the bottom of the basket weave, the top of the cover is on. Now I'm really just pulling the sides over the bottom edge of the side of the, the, side of the seat. Um, the problem I have with this particular edge was the foam shifted very, very, very slightly. And as a result, I had too much foam on the back of the seat and not enough on the front of the seat, which I found out in three, two, one, and then shouted, Buggerington arse face. Um, what I ended up doing though was just undoing the few clips, uh, pulling the side cover back to where I'm working right now. Um, and, and pulling the, the, the foam back into place. But the foam should not look like it, it is. On the, on the side that's furthest away from where I'm working now, the side nearest to you know, the bottom of the screen, that's more or less in place. It's actually not too bad. As you can see, I've worked on the tensioning strips, now I'm working on the edge strips. It's pretty much a reversal of the way it was all taken apart in the first place. I'm just banging each one of these clips in place, not going berserk with the clips, I'm just knocking them into place just so it holds it roughly in place. Um, because you end up taking these clips off about 55,000 times, um, or well, I, I did on this particular occasion. And here we go. Seats are actually back into the car, looking mighty fine, I'm quite pleased with these. Um, the seat covers themselves aren't the best. Um, they are quite well used, um, but I was able to rejuvenate these seats quite a lot, really, just by installing the foams. It took me about four and a half hours, really, end to end, to do the two seat backs. Uh, it was a bit of a faff. The only real specialist tool I needed was a flat blade screwdriver. Um, here, you can see there's a bit of bubbling down the side edge. And all you really need to do, because I've not glued the foam onto the cover, is really work it like I was with my fingers. I did an awful lot more than that. and got that seat side section looking really nice. Now, obviously, we need to go over this thing with some um, some wipes just to get rid of some of the staining where, the, where the, the panels and parts used to be. The back of the seat here, this section just behind the headrest is where that grey foam piece goes. It needs quite a lot of sculpting and work, but it's well worth the effort. What do you think?